welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. I'm pre-recording a lot of videos, so if I'm wearing the same shirt. Uh, anyway, this is uh, Wednesday, so I'm doing Top 5 Wednesday, and I'm going to do something a diff little different this time. I'm going to do five favorite things that are not books. So, yeah. I know I talk about books a lot, but I do do other things besides reading books and I do watch other things uh, besides reading books so the first one I'm gonna tell you about is a show that I've been watching for years uh, yeah the show has been on for 50 years uh, I think they're on the 51st year now and the show that I watch and have been watching since I was little um, is Days of Our Lives, and I have the People magazine. I finally found it. It was uh, hidden in my bookshelf. I couldn't find it, but I finally found it to share with you. Um, I've been watching this show for ages, like um, all the way back when Bo and Hope were on. And Bo and Hope, I just found the page, and I'm going to open to the page. And this is in the 1980s, and this is what Bowen Hope looked like in the 1980s. Um, yeah, my husband actually looked like Bo. He had the beard and the mustache, and I was obsessed with this TV show all the way back then. And Hope is still my favorite character on this show. Uh, so at this time in 1980... Um, this was taken in 1986, so I was 16 years old. I met my husband when I was 17. Yeah, so this is what I've been watching. I've been watching it for a long time. Um, I did, uh, watch it, uh, for, from that time on, all the way on, and I watched it all the way up till I got, till the time I got married, and when I got married in 95, um, I don't know what year, but Marlena got possessed by the devil, and that's when I stopped watching it. Um, I was working in the city, and my DVD did not tape anymore, and I couldn't watch it anymore, so I stopped watching it at that point. And then we had money, and we went, got another DVD. DVD player and we were able to uh, VHS player or whatever and I was able to tape it again and I watched it again when the strangler came on and so I watched that and I've been watching it ever since um, now my TV tapes it for me um, and I watch it every day and my daughter is watching it I have one that likes it and one that doesn't like it um, and she watches it every day she um, is obsessed with with um, the baby that's on there now so she wants to see what's happening why isn't it going to the bait why she steal the baby and all that so yeah so we've been watching this and uh, now she doesn't want me to watch it without her so now I have to, this is a TV show that I watch with her now uh, so but this is one of the things that I watch every single day and it's been for years so that's that one okay Okay, number two would be an animal that I like. And if everybody liked seeing my Fobonichis, you could guess what my favorite cartoon character is. And that would be Snoopy. And I'm going to share with you a little pictures of my Snoopy around the house. So stay tuned. Here is my Snoopy on my desk holding my pens. Um, behind that, I have lots of Snoopies stickers and lots of stickers in here that are Snoopy. This is all Snoopy stuff. So yeah, so that's that. Uh, going across is my computer going across and here is my other Snoopy mug filled with pens and Snoopy again in the back, another Snoopy mug. And if I go up above, my Snoopy is a little high. Um, I have Snoopy hanging up over there. And I have another Snoopy going up here. And a going across my room. It's kind of messy, but I'm going to go quickly. So going across, I have another Snoopy there. Make today an uh, awesome Snoopy post through there. And I'm going to go into the other room and share what's in there. Okay, on the top of my bookshelf here is my Snoopy Pops and my little snoopy dogs there and going below i just got this one 
here for five dollars on a clearance at CVS uh yep I got it after Valentine's Day and I they still had it and I was like you know what I'm getting it for five bucks yeah and then I got that Snoopy in the back for two dollars that was on clearance as well and if I go down here I have another Snoopy here this one I got for two dollars as well on clearance and then I got my little Snoopy dog here, and that one I also got on clearance. I think I got it for $10, and it was on clearance. And this one dances. I've shown you this before, but I'll show you again. So I'm going to bring it over here, and he dances. I feel better when I'm dancing, yeah, yeah. I feel better when I'm dancing, yeah, yeah. I think I know what I'm thinking. I feel better when I'm dancing. Okay, on to number three. My number three favorite is my washi tape. I use a lot of washi tape in my faux Benici. I use it on my uh, planners. Uh, so I'm going to share with you how I store my uh, washi tape. So stay tuned. Here is my washi tape. I have this uh, container that I got. Uh, this is for nuts and bolts. I got this at Home Depot. And in each drawer is sorted by color um, my washi tape. So I can take the whole drawer out and bring it to my desk, and then I can use it on my uh, Fobonichi. So each drawer comes out, which is really cool. I really like this, but however, I am a collector and I have way more than what you see here. So what have I done with the remaining washi tape that I have collected? Well, I have two boxes full and I'm going to share with you that as well. And I have a basket above and these are my most recent purchases and they are just shoved in the basket there. So yeah, lots of washi tape there. And then I'm going to share with you on my box. I got these, here we go across the room. I have these two boxes. Look at the dust. Sorry about the dust there. Um, anyway, these are the two boxes and these are filled with washi tape and I'm going to share with you inside to show you how I have it sorted. This one is my Christmas washi. Um, I have all Christmas in there and then I have some extra. These are um, Wednesday, just everyday type ones that I got recently. And this says, don't forget. Yeah. And then in the bottom box, and these fit nicely on my, my shelving. I have shelving over here. I stick them over here. So this is my other box, and this is with the kits. Uh, I put the kits in here, and then I got these for really cheap, and I used the 20% discount. So this is how I store all my washi. Okay, I had to think about number four. So number four would be my rubber stamps. I am, uh, I belong to a club and I go every month and I belong to a Stampin' Up! company. Um, and I go to, and I make cards every month uh, for a uh, mom's night out. <laughs> and uh, so I collect a lot of rubber stamps. Um, I use them occasionally. I do make cards. I use them sometimes in my Fobonichi. Not so much. I really need to use them more. Uh, but I have a large collection and I'm going to share with you my collection. So here we go. Okay, right next to my computer, I bought this thing at Walmart. Um, it is a jewelry holder and I have all my cling stamps that I use frequently in my planner. Um, and, um, yeah, so this is all the rubber stamps I have, which is really cool. And they're very fast so I could reach it right from my computer. Cause here's my computer right here and here's my desk and I could reach anything. This is front and back. So there is more on the back of this. I have it hanging on my cabinet here and I have more on the back. Oops, sorry. <laughs> trying to videotape with one hand it's very hard so yeah so that's the first way that I store my rubber stamps 
The second way are my wood mount stems, and I'm going to share with you that on the other side of the room. Okay, here are my wood mount stamps, and they are all in these containers here, and I have it sorted by category. And I took them out of the containers because I used to sell Stampin' Up! So I have a large collection of rubber stamps. And above that, over here, are my Stampin' Up! Um, cling, uh, new cases are in there. And also in this box here. And below here is all my rubber stamps as well. Because I go to a club once a month and I have to spend... $25 a month and I have collected quite a few rubber stamps so I have a lot. I need to use them more in my Fobonichi um, but I haven't had a chance to do so. So, But I do make cards uh, every month so that's that there. The fifth thing I had to really really think for this one because I was like wait what if I have five things of? Anyway, my fifth thing would have to be my happy planner. Yes, I have two happy planners. One that I use for my daily um, schedule, and it is a mess, and I just write in it. I do not decorate it. And one that I um, memory plan in it. So I'm going to share with you my memory planner. So this is my happy planner, and of course... And here it comes again. I got the cover. These are the best days of our lives. So yeah, see, I told you I'm a fan of days of our lives. So I had to have the cover that says that on it. Yeah, I did not make this. I bought it like this. So yeah. So this is my memory planner and this is decorated. So I am going to share with you uh, some of the pages. So here is my front cover and there is a picture of me. Uh, yeah, it says think happy. There's my Snoopy again and Snoopy again. So he shows up a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I have my motto for the year is to read more. Yeah. <laughs> read more. So yeah, hundred books, uh, for the year. And that's a picture of me. And of course it's all in purple because my favorite color is purple. So yeah, do what you love. Yeah, so that's my motto. So my planner, I did not do the, I did not do the monthly. It's blank, but the weekly, I've been doing the weekly as a memory planning. So here is my memory planning, and I printed out pictures using my Canon selfie. I really love my Canon selfie. I can print right from my cell phone, and see, I have pictures of my kids, pictures of my dog things that I've done for the week and each page is like that. So here we go. And I even included some postcards in there and that is it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.